Good morning, Fruit and Seed family. I'm here with your motivational Monday moment. Yeah, <laughs> motivational Monday moment. I hope you are doing well. I hope you had an incredible weekend. I did. It was pretty good. I'm down at the office as usual. Good morning, Miss Sunny. I'm down at the office as usual. I called myself. I was going to wait and do this as a live on tomorrow night. Share this with your friends. Shoot. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Brenda. How are you? Share this with your friends. Shoot. I got a word. I think I think this will encourage you. I think it'll help you. You can share this, pass it along. Listen, I'm working out, right? And I'll tell you, Miss Patricia, I hear God when I work out. <laughs> he talks to me a lot. And uh, I just get these sensing, these Holy Spirit moments. And I'm like, God, this is so good. So I was going to save this for a live on tomorrow night. Hey, Miss Brenda, I just thought, you know what? It's hot right now. Hot in the fire. And it's 6.18 in the morning. I've been up for a little while. So I'm wide awake. Can you say wide? Look at my eyes. You see my eyes? They little, but they wide awake. All right, listen. C, that is the topic of today. C, what do I mean? So let me write something down right quick. Hold up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. That's funny. All right, so I need that. Uh, let's see. 13, 12. Uh, no, 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 no. 11, 12, 13. Okay. Listen. Maybe the issue, this is so good. This this really blessed me. So I hope it bless you. Share this. Give me hearts. Give me love. Hey, listen. Maybe, just maybe, maybe the issue isn't your eating. It's not your routine. It's not your exercise. Maybe the issue is in your seeing. What do I mean by that? So I'm driving along and I'm just meditating and I'm talking out loud to the Lord. Because that's how we just got that kind of relationship, right? And I'm like, Lord, so what's what's going on? And I get this Holy Spirit just sensing, just dropping my heart. Him saying to me, first of all, you have to understand you can't guilt yourself. You can't anger yourself into changing. You can't guilt yourself into changing. You can't pity yourself into changing anything about yourself, especially your health, your nutrition, habits, behaviors. You can't guilt yourself, hate yourself, anger yourself, pity yourself into doing anything, into changing anything. I turn the light on. Look at that. Is that better? Did I just get brighter or is it just me? Anyway, <laughs> you can't do that. The word of God says, God said to the children of Israel, with loving kindness, have I drawn you to myself? And I'm like, all right, all right. So first of all, it's only going to be us loving us that's going to draw us into who he says we are. Number one. Number two, this, this bless me. He said, even greater than that, until you see, he said, God is saying to us, until we see what he sees about us, we cannot have what he sees. And, all right, so I'm going to say that one more time and let me see if that bless you like it blessed me. He said, and Lacey, until you see what I see about you, you can't have what I see. So we're trying to become something. We're trying to become a person that we don't see. All right, did that help anybody? Did, 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 did that just explain some things? That maybe it's in what you see. Maybe it's in how you see yourself. Maybe it's in what you are allowing yourself to see. Until we see what he sees, we can't have what he sees. He says, until you see what I see, then you say what I see. You're not authorized to have it. Oh, my goodness. So until we see, number one, until we see what he sees about us, we can't have what he sees about us, number one. Number two, unless we see what he sees about us and we begin to say what he sees, we are not authorized to have it 
because our vision don't match up with his. He says, you have to be in alignment with who I say you are. But if we're looking in the mirror, in the natural mirror, and we're saying what we see, we're saying all the negatives, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this, I'm not that. We can't have what he is seeing. He says, listen, you got to get this. You got to get it because his vision of us will always be greater, higher. His word, Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you. Thoughts of good, not evil. We're speaking evil over ourselves. I'm not this. I'm not that. I can't do this. I can't do that. And our angels that are assigned to our life is like, all right, then cool. Then you can't have it. They're waiting there trying to deliver the goods to us. But they can't deliver the goods to us because we're not in alignment with what he sees. We're not in alignment with what he says we are. So until we see what he sees about us, we can't have it. We don't have access to it. You know, you know when you're typing in your password and it keeps coming up access denied? All right, that's all I need to say about that. We don't have access. We do not have access to who he says we are because we don't see it, number one. And number two, we're not saying it. We're not saying, okay, God, this is what I, this is what I see you say that I am. And we begin to say who you say that I am. I am great. I mean, we got a whole book full of what he says about us. The word of God. We got a whole book. We are the righteousness of God. We can do all things through Christ. We have the mind of Christ. We have all of that at our hand. He says, all right, I'm going, uh, my son is leaving the earth, but we're going to leave a word. We're going to leave something here for the sons and the daughters to read, to see. Oh my goodness. Y'all don't get this. Is this did that just help anybody? I, listen, I'm just here. I got excited. And I'm like, well, you know what, Lord? It excited me. I just want to know if it excited anybody else. Come on, give, give me some hearts. Give me some love. Let me know that yes, indeed, this here has helped you. Because I am just I'm, I'm, I'm just excited because I'm like, wow, God, all of this time we're trying to become something that we don't have the ability to become because we don't even see it. We, and we say that. I don't see that about me. <laughs> I can't see myself doing that. And so God is saying, OK, you can't see yourself doing that. Guess what, boo? You won't do it. You can only do what you see yourself doing. You can only become who you say you are. So if you're saying, oh, I'm not this, I'm not that, I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't, I don't like this, I don't like that, then God is like, cool, I love you. That ain't ever going to change, but you can't have what I really see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that just blessed me this morning. Now, and I wanted to pass it on to you. I don't know how much I want to say. I'm here, down here doing work. I don't want to ramble on, but I'm just thinking excited because he is saying, you have to see, we have to get into his word, get into his presence, say, God, show me your perspective of this. Even in our families, even in our relationships, I went through such a hard season with my marriage. I asked God, it was a few, it's a few years ago, but I asked God, God, you got to show me what you see. Cause if you, I don't see what you see, God, you got to show me your perspective of this. Cause if I don't get your perspective, I'm going to mess this up. Every storm is a training ground. To build you, every storm is a training ground for your next level of advancement. Every storm, by the enemy's design, what his purpose is, is to take you out, uproot you, just like a tree, just uproot you. But God says, Psalms 1, I want you to be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. Come on. I want you to bear fruit in every season. How do we bear fruit in every season? Getting his perspective of every season. God, this is hard. I don't like this. I'm mad. I want to cuss. I want to fight. I want to leave. But show me your perspective. Because if I get your perspective, I'm going to get your peace. When we get his perspective, we get his peace. What is your perspective of my health journey? 
come on. This health journey just ain't about getting into a cute little size, whatever. Mm -mm. This is something deeper. This is something greater that he's trying to get you to see. So God, show me your perspective. Show me your perspective in working out. Show me your perspective in eating right. Because I really don't like this. But if you show me your perspective, I'll get your peace. When we get God's perspective, we get God's peace. When we accept his perspective, we get his peace. When we accept what he shows us about us, who we're becoming, who he says we are, we have access to it, baby. You, you don't got access to nothing. You keep putting in the wrong password. The password of your own understanding. Oh, you don't hear me. You, you don't like that. The password of your own understanding. I don't like me. I hate this about me. Access denied. Access denied. Wrong. Invalid password. You're trying to get into a place. You're trying to get into a program called God's Perspective. But we can't have his perspective, Miss Patricia, until we start seeing what he sees. When we see what he sees, we put in the right password. Oh, that just, that, that was good. When we see what God sees and we say, okay, God, I see that. Okay, God, I'm going to decree that. Okay, God, I'm going to declare that. Because that's what you say about me. <sighs> then we start accessing the strength, the wisdom to become who he says we are. Honey, that just helped me. <laughs> that helped me. <laughs> Listen. That's your motivational moment. I'll, I I could go on and on and on because I am so excited because I, I got something this morning. It helped me, and I wanted to pass it on to you while it was hot. I'm coming in hot. Uh, I'm coming in hot. That's a song by Andy Minio and I think Lecrae, I think. Mm. Anyway, the point is we've got to tap in to the mind of Christ. We have to tap in to who he says we are. We have to ask God, show me what you see about this situation, my family, my finance, my health journey. Show me what you see. Because if I get your perspective, if I see what you see, I can have what you see. I'll say what you see. I'll get what you see. We'll become what he sees. Because remember, before he placed us in our mother's womb. Before he placed us in our mother's womb, boo. He said, I knew you. I knew you. I know you came out your mother's womb and you went through a whole lot of disaster. You went through a whole lot of uh, uh, hell and drama for your mama. I know you went through all of that, but I see who you really are. Oh my goodness. And now he's hacking away at it. He's chipping away at it. And he's saying, nope, there's deeper. There's more. This health journey. Mm -mm, this just ain't about you being all cute. Because you cute now. Nah. You cute now. Nah. He said, I knew you. You right, but you, I knew you. That means I've had intimate relation with you. I intimately. God saying, I intimately know you, boo. I I know the you that you don't know yet. Oh, that was good right there. Somebody type that out. God says, I know the you that you don't know yet. <laughs> that was so good. I'm going to say that one more again. God says, I know the you that you don't know yet. And the only way for you to know the you that I know, you have to say and see what I see about the you you don't know yet. Oh, my God, that's good. Oh, okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> um, I might try to say that again. God is saying, I know the you that you don't know yet. But the only way to know, the only way for you to know the you that you don't know yet is you have to say what I say about the you you don't know yet so you can become the you you don't know. Oh, my goodness. He's talking about transformation. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So he wants to take us to a different level, a higher level of thinking, a higher level of being and believing about who we are. But as long as we say 
what our earthly existence has said about us. You this, you that, you'll never be this, you'll never be that. He said, you're going to keep on having that. Access denied, baby. Access denied. Invalid password, baby. He said, but you tap in and you start asking God the questions. What do you see? What do you say about me? And he'll tell you sweet things. You're my beloved. You really can do all things through me. Why don't you do this? Do that. I'll give you strength. Commit your way to me, and I'll help you. I don't know, God. That ain't me. I don't know, God. I never did that before. And the angels are like, well, there you go. She just, mm. well, we just going to have to wait. Hey, Miss Jillian, we just going to have to wait until she gets it. But we have to be determined to see what he sees about us. When we see what he sees, we can have what he sees. He not only want us to see it from an outside perspective, meaning the outside looking in. <laughs> hey, boo, the outside looking in. Ooh, we got, that's nice, that's good. He's like, all right, now you got to take it another level. You got to start saying that. Ooh, we, I am this. Ooh, we, I can do this. Ooh, we, I, I am prosperous. Ooh, we, I am, I, I am anointed. Ooh, I can do this. I was given a mission. I was given a goal. I was given a specific purpose by my creator that nobody else can do. You one of a kind, boo. Your fingertips ain't like nobody else's. Come on. Your style, your finesse, your laughter, everything about you is unique. Everything, every single one of us, the creator put something very specific in us, like him, in us to express this just from him. And until we see it, you can't have it. Mm, ain't that good? Until you see it, you can't have it. So ask God, what is, it that, what is it that I'm missing about my relationship, my marriage, my, my family? What is it that, that, that I'm not seeing? Because when we see what he sees, we can have what he sees. Why? We'll start saying it. We'll start proclaiming it. We will be empowered by him. Oh, we'll be empowered by him to live what he says we are. Because he, until he says, I know the you, you don't know yet. But in an order for you to know the you, you don't know yet, you have to see what I see about the you, you don't know yet. So you can begin to decree and declare what you don't know yet about you so you can become what I see. Because I knew you. He said, don't give your mom and daddy that much credit. I know you love them. I know they your family. They your mom and them. I know. He said, I know, I know you do. He said, but listen, boo, before I before I placed you in your mama's womb. So he said, I am fully aware of who you are before your mama met your daddy and the little goo thing happened. And you came to be in. He said, you ain't here by accident. You are here by divine decree. Oh, that helped me right there. You are here on purpose, boo. But until you see what I see about you, you can't have it. Access denied. So I am encouraging you. Get into his presence. You better start asking him the right questions. You better start putting in the right passwords, boo. You trying to access something on the mainframe of heaven. Ooh, that's good. You trying to access something on the mainframe of heaven. And you can't access it. Well, I can't. I don't know. That's not me. That's too hard. And he's like, you know what? I'm sorry. Access denied. Access denied. Listen, computers, passwords, your different accounts, it ain't personal. It is not personal. You just got to put in the right password. God loves you. That ain't ever going to... Let me get that straight. That ain't ever going to change. He will always love you. But there are certain areas that you will not be able to access until you put the right password in. Until we see what he sees about us. We can't have it. I encourage you. To see today, my name is Lacey. I got some fruit, boo. I just opened it up and have given you some seed. That helped me. I hope it helped you too. 
share this. Let other people know you got to see something different. If you don't, 2019 going to be like 2018, 2017, 2016, and all the other teens back there. We got to go forward, but we got to see a new way. Okay? Have a good day. Have a good week. I'll be back soon. That just fired me up. Oh, that fired me up. All right, I love you guys. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.